guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, the 5th of May, and I just want to apologise for yesterday's vlog. Oh my god, I rambled on so much. I've just edited it, and um, yeah, so I'm so sorry. I rambled so much. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I did skip some of it, so if there was anything that looked like it needed to be edited and I didn't, it's just because I skipped it. It was I just rambled on so much. I'm just going to try and not do that today. Um, I can't remember if I have actually shown you something that I bought. Um, I've had it for about a week ish um and i said that i wasn't gonna go show my sister um i know i've showed my mum and i can't remember if i've shown on here but i have ordered a 5d painting uh of toy story which i can't wait to get started at some point um yeah i think it is so cute and casey is obsessed with toy story and the boys obviously they're not obsessed with Toy Story, but they wear Toy Story. They've got Toy Story toys and things like that. Um, I got this off of eBay, and I'm really happy with it. Um, I don't think it's like a um, named one or anything. It has got DMC colours. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that started. I don't know when, um, but... It could be something for the boys' bedroom and whatnot. So, yeah, I thought it was quite cute. And I'm hoping that once the beads are on, it will still make sense. Because I have done one in the past, um, if you've been watching me for a while. I did do a skull. Um, I think I've chucked it now. But it was like two skulls um, face to face, sidewards. And then loads of flowers, and I think a flower was coming out of an eye and whatever. But it just did not make sense of what it was, what it was of. Even if you put it far away, you still couldn't make out what it was. It was awful. So I'm hoping that this will um, come out nice. I have got one up on the um, wall already that I did. I think this was one of the first ones that I did. So up here, I've got three camper vans the VW camper vans and I think that was one of the first ones that I did and I'm so pleased with that one it's so nice and it's a nice sort of piece to put in a frame um I have got another one which is butterflies um but that isn't in a frame I did want to put it in a frame because mine and Ian sort of um symbol I suppose is butterflies because one year he bought me a um a butterfly in a box frame and it's blue and it's it's beautiful um it's in the hallway actually on one of the little shelves by the um the, the door phone thing <laughs> with the lamp and everything um so yeah that is our little symbol and for valentine not valentine for anniversary he did get me a card with um the blue butterfly on it and he's got me things like that in the past with the butterfly so that is our sort of thing um but i just haven't got it in a frame it is in the drawer um have i done other ones i have haven't i i done ian's mom a 5d painting um what was the last one that i did can't remember now I think it was a big one. I did my mum one. It was a cat. Um, can't remember what the last one was that I did. But uh, yeah, I'm just editing. I am organising um, <clears throat> a Zoom chat to try and hopefully get that up and running. Um, it might be something that um, we might do weekly. We might add people as we go along. Basically this week me and Jan are just going to see how it goes <laughs> and see if it works, if it runs smoothly and things. Um, and we've got a couple of people that are willing to uh, come and join and see if it does run smoothly. So thank you so much. If you are um, interested in doing a Zoom chat at some stage then let me know and uh, maybe obviously with zoom i know that obviously everyone can talk at the same time um so i think having like when jan does her live i know she has like 50 odd people on um 
and I think that will just be absolute chaos um, and I know that I don't I wouldn't have that many people on, on my live personally um, and I know some of you that comment on my videos that maybe wouldn't want to chat face to face and you like to be um, I don't know I don't know I don't want to put words in people's mouths but um, yeah that I'm gonna try and organize that uh, we're gonna do it tomorrow and um, hopefully it will run smooth it might be something that I carry on who knows we could have a knit afternoon I think on zoom you can only do 40 minutes um, unless you've got like a business account obviously I haven't got a business account um, so all things like that I want to make sure that it runs smooth so I'm gonna do that now while this is rendering or what is it called exporting that's what it's called on here um, I'm using a new software um, well it's been using it for a little while it's called Filmora um, I was using um, Resolve uh, DaVinci Resolve and I just wasn't getting on with it to be to be honest and this one is a lot better um, so I wanted to share Filmora and it's got all the presets and everything that you could possibly want and the and if you've um, noticed I've been doing some transitions and things <laughs> so I've just been playing around with it a bit anyway I'm gonna go and um, try and get this set up and today I'm gonna try and get the other sleeve for Mikey's cardigan finished and I want to do the four snowflakes for the book and try and get at least one page done for that and yeah that's my that is my plan or my aim for today um obviously up until tonight when i go to bed i want to get them two things done because i do really really want to get my new top on the needles and i want to get the new shawl the hotel of b shawl on the hook so i just don't want too many projects on the go at once and i'm finding that at the minute my in my head I just want one or two things which I've got because I've only got Mikey's um, cardigan the book and socks um, so I don't want to start anything else just yet I'm gonna go <laughs> it's gonna be another rambly one I'm sorry afternoon it is half past two I've been knitting I have picked up the stitches for the second sleeve and I've done um, a few rows um, I've just got a cup of tea on the go but I have to um, quickly pop to my mum's um, my dad is suffering really really bad with um, a bad back at the moment and I have got some Voltarol here that I said that he can have um, I get Voltarol um, for my knee and my back and it does help me quite a lot every night <laughs> recently I've been putting it on my knee because uh, I have been suffering with that so um, I'm going to quickly um, bag that up she also wants some um, Yorkshire pudding mix <laughs> or better mix <laughs> um, and I have got a pack here that um, I'm going to put in a carrier bag and um, go and drop those off to them and uh, yeah so Ian's at work still he's had to go miles away to drop a strimmer off I think strimmer pole saw a tool of some sort um, and then he will be going to the garage um, afterwards uh, he didn't go yesterday because he just said he couldn't face it because obviously the leaky gearbox and whatever um, he has found the what it is is you're probably not interested but I'm going to explain it anyway <laughs> um, in the gearbox there's sort of bolts that go all the way around it um, and there's like a sleeve thing inside and it's from the bolt that it's leaking so he can replace that part without having to replace the whole gearbox um, so he has found the part he just needs to uh, it's trade only from the company that he needs to bought, buy it from so he needs to find someone with an account with that company to actually order it um which is a bit silly but never mind there is only there's two in the country at the moment apparently or in that company um 
so yeah it's a bit annoying but hopefully we'll be able to get that sorted um I have messaged Casey because uh, I think it was Enid um, messaged and said why don't you get Casey to measure the boys oh yeah good thinking why didn't I think of that <laughs> um, and his back was 32 centimeters 31 centimeters and I think this is 35 so it should be long enough um, and the sleeves are dead on um, she measured like right up into his armpit down to the bottom where his wrist is and that's nine this is coming out at nine inches but there's no way this is going to be sitting right up into his armpit because nothing sort of sits right up into your armpit so I'm hoping fingers crossed that will be long enough um, but I did say to her as soon as they're finished um, and got buttons on them I'll just give them anyway because um, better be to, better to be safe than sorry and I can always add to the sleeve it's not a problem um i might see how much of this gray i've got left um as i did do the sleeve this sleeve in the wrong needle size i used a four mil instead of the 3.25 mil to do the rib um but i was halfway through and i was like oh damn never mind <laughs> um no one's gonna really notice are they and plus it's a little bit more room for his little hands and I can always um, pick back up and do another couple of rows and then if it is too long it can always be turned over so that's that but I'm gonna get ready to quickly pop out I'm not gonna be out long and uh, yeah I think I might uh, I might get changed too as I am wearing pink lounging lounging trousers um, so yeah anyway that's that and uh, I will catch you up in a little while good evening guys it's 10 o'clock and to be honest I really don't know where today's gone it has just flown by so quickly um, so I dropped off the um, stuff to my mum and dad um, come home had some dinner uh, we've watched a bit of telly <laughs> and it's just I don't know I really don't know where the time has gone um, I've knit this much on the sleeve I should get this done tonight so I'm going to carry on um, knitting as there's not really that much left to go really um, and then all that needs to be done is the front button bands and they're not going to take long either I'm not going to go I'm not going to do those tonight um, so my plan that I said this morning about doing the stars for the book <laughs> that didn't happen um, so hopefully I might be able to get those done tomorrow um, yeah it's just been a bit of a I don't know where the day has gone <laughs> um, Tomorrow's supposed to be really, really nice. Um, supposed to warm up a bit. I've even got my cardigan on still from earlier on. Um, I put this on. Did I have it on before? Might have done. Can't remember. Um, but I did put a jumper on when I went out. <laughs> come back and put this back on. Because um, it's it's rather cold. Uh, tomorrow they said it's going to be 17. So hopefully that will be a lot nicer. So I'm going to finish watching. We're watching Parker's Trail. Um, we're just watching the last episode and uh yeah we like gold rush and things like that um so yeah i'm gonna carry on knitting and hopefully get the sleeve done this evening shouldn't take me that long and i will see you all tomorrow thank you for watching bye